Oh, Heavenly Father, Yahweh Waha, Yahweh Shai, we come before thee, Most High God. Thank you for all things. For this opportunity that we can come together in one spirit and in one mind, glorifying thee and thee only, Father. We come before thee with a humble heart, a contrite spirit, acknowledging that it's by you and through Praise you all. to the Most High. It's been a long time. I definitely want to say shalom to all the brothers and sisters and my frenemies out there that prayed for my demise. He's talking about us. We never prayed for his demise. We never prayed for his death. We prayed that a foot of uh, uh, angelic foot go up his ass sideways. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to, of course, we want to thank the Most High God, Yahweh, and his son. I'm going to just say it. Yahweh Shai. It gives, it gives them goosebumps when I say his name. Oh, yeah, you got damn right. Because we're just... Apostle Paul spoke about, I am jealous over you with godly uh, jealousy. So we're constantly, we're the spiritual zealots. Zealots means mean uh, uh, jealous for the Most High. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash, the boss of the apostles, the boss of the elders, the great millstone, Ruel, tells his truth. Much respect to you brothers out there, just preach his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four colors of earth. Tabernacle David, Hopeful Lake, and the Speckle Bird of One Shalom. Let's get into this quick lesson, Yahweh Ratazah. This is a very Salaki Yahweh Ratazah. This is a very edifying lesson. And quick to the point, now you have this uh, group, the IEYC, which Yahweh Ratazah I'll put in a clip. Which to show that their leaders, they know the name, the true name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. You know, I was watching Elder Apostle Tahar's video on that. They know the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, but yet they do not push the name. And as Gabar, Elder uh, Gabar Yahweh Dove was going in, you know, they're anti Amashiach, they're anti Yahweh Bashem El Shai. All right, with you being the head, Bishop Nate, you being the head, you know the name of the Lord. But yet your men under you, which are pretty much zombies, the walking dead, they they don't know the name of the Lord or they don't acknowledge the name of the Lord. How about that? You teach them not to, to acknowledge the name of the Lord. And as I'll get in the scriptures, matter of fact, in the Exodus 3 verse 13, you know, when Moses saw saw the Lord, really the backside of the Lord, he asked, what's, what's your name that I may tell the children of Israel? And as a matter, matter of fact, since I got it right here, let's go ahead and get into it. Because this is what we are commanded to do. This is one of the first things we learned when we came into the truth. You know, I can speak for myself and, you know, other brothers. We were calling upon in these bugged out names. But here it is with your congregation. They calling on that little white boy, man. <laughs> All right. Like Apostle Tahar said, I, I have more respect. If you, if you say Yah, you're still going off. All right. Because Yah just means he. That's not his name. But here I have more respect. <laughs> respect. <laughs> if you call on the name Yah, then, then uh, Christ. Come on, man. But let's get this real quick. This is uh, Exodus 3 and verse, 10, verse 13. And Moses said unto power, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and say unto them, The power of your fathers have sent me. Ugh, has sent me unto you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Because right, the Lord was bringing back the name. You even go into the book of Exodus. The men of the Lord back then. Slaki, not Exodus, Genesis. Slaki. The men of the Lord. All right. Even back then, they were calling upon the name of the Lord. And then we went into captivity on the Egyptians. And the Lord brought back his name. You see? Nothing new on the sun. 
We're kept we're in captivity under these new Egyptians, these Edomites, and the Lord brought back the remembrance of the name. That's what we'll get right here. Let's see, I have sent you, and they shall say unto me what is his name. What shall I say unto them? And power said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. All right? Yahweh. Yahweh. All right? He he uh he is. He to be. He he exists. Okay? He present. Okay? And now we call upon the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahusha. Ba'ashem in the name. Yahusha is the son's name. Okay? It's the son's name. And so, Bishop Nathaniel, you know, a lot of his hands, man. Y'all got a lot of blood on your hands, man. Y'all going to learn. Hey, this, this congregation, IUIC, they're going to learn the hard way. If I'm not mistaken, they made a video. Can we call on the name of Jeebus? You know, are you going off if you call upon the name of Jeebus? Y'all going to learn the hard way in the times that we coming into that that name is not going to save you. But let's get back to it. Verse 15, Powell said moreover unto Moses, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh power. Of your father, power of Abraham, God of Jacob, God of like God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have sent me unto you. This is his name forever. You see that? His name forever. And this is a memorial. What? A memorial unto all generations. So when you learn of his name, you are supposed to teach. His name to all generations, to the whole congregation, man. Once again, hey, hey, you heads of IDRC, you know the name of the Lord, like Apostle Dahar said, man. You know, we believe y'all y'all took that secret covenant, man. Y'all took that bag. And so now y'all don't preach the name of the Lord, the true name of the Lord. You see, that bag is only going to last for so long. And eventually... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised these dudes tell you to go uh, take the MOTB because they are always changing up their doctrine on that or, or other camps at least. Let's get this right here. And, uh, matter of fact, let's get this. March 7 and verse 6, he answered and sent unto me, sent unto them. We'll have Elias prophesied of you hypocrites as it is written. This people honored me with their lips, but the heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. In that whole congregation of the IUIC is a congregation of zombies, man. They be given the teachings and doctrines and commandments of men. Not to call upon the name of the Lord. Got dudes in their congregations. Lined up beards. Lined up facial hair. Lined up. <laughs> lined up every, everything man. They got uh, dreads. Long hair. Come on man. But yet. They're not preaching the name of the Lord. You know. you he, As the scriptures say. You shall know them by their fruit. You see them man. And it's no coincidence that the other day, one of, one of y'all members, or several of them, I'm not mistaken, Apostle Hard had did a video on it the other day. One of your members got ran over on the front lines. As the Apostle had said, man, you know, the Lord has a hedge, a hedge of protection over his men. You see? You see? And you will have that it will, if you were rightly dividing the word in truth and teaching the name of the Lord. 
but you're not doing it. So y'all, y'all going to learn the hard way, especially in these last days, that that name is not going to deliver you. It's not going to save you, man. Let's get this in uh, 1 Peter 4 and verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Because we all got to go through it. Got to go through that strange narrow route. You know, <laughs> them little demons come up to you, try to have you uh, sign your life away to get that bag. You, you're not going to do that, man. And that's what we believe the heads of the congreg of their congregation have done. That's why you're not rightly dividing the word of truth. That's why you're not giving the children of Israel the true name of the Lord. But rejoice as much as ye are partakers of a Mashiach suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy. You know, the servant's not above the master. So, you know, expect to go through some things. But why are you going through those things? Pray, pray, pray. And call upon the true name of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. It's no coincidence. All right. That we over here keep on doing the lessons on the name of the Lord. Why? Because that's the spirit. Why? Because we're coming into those times. His name is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is saved. Verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of a Mashiach, you see, ain't we reproached for the name of a Mashiach? They call us bums. They call us crazy. <laughs> why y'all, why y'all call upon the name? And you can call the name of the Lord any, any type of name. But yet, yet y'all Negroes. Change your name legally and get a Hebrew name, man. <laughs> and make it make sense. You got a Hebrew name, but the Lord that you serve ain't got a Hebrew name. You ain't got to call upon his Hebrew name, man. Happy are ye for the spirit and glory of power rests upon you. Yahweh Ratazah, man. Yahweh Ratazah. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. You see that? So, yeah, you know, you have your congregation, your little little men, little flunkies <laughs> come at us, tell us that we're wrong. You know, it's all good. You know, because at the end of the day, we're going to see. Is that is that little white boy going to save you? Or your how about you outside calling upon that name and teaching the children of Israel that name? going to save you. Y'all right desire does, but we already know. And that's by faith. All right? Verse 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer. You see, you being an evildoer, if you're not rightly dividing the word in truth, not warning the people of Jacob's trouble, not giving the people the name of the Lord as we get right here, or a busybody or men's minor. Yeah, yeah. As a as a thief. You know, you being a thief, not giving the people the name of the Lord. Evil door, not giving the people the name of the Lord in this aspect. Alright. Yeah, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify power on his behalf. You see? And we're the real Christians, man. Alright. So whatever you're going through. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. All right. But if you suffering these these things, suffering as a murderer or evil through a thief, you know, <laughs> hey, that you most definitely going off, man. The way that we supposed to suffer. You know, in a similar fashion, shape, form, or fashion as a Mashiach and the prophets have done, have went through. All right. For that time has come that judgment, this is what I want to get. This is the point. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of power. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of power? And the righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So judgment is going to happen 
in the house of God first. Those that know the name of the Lord. It's like you're those that uh, know that they're Israelites. Judgment is going to happen to them first. And then the two thirds. And then the Lord's going to clean house with the heathens, man. All right. So if you're not rightly dividing the word in truth, you're not giving the people the whole role, part of the whole role for them to eat is the name of the Lord. Judgment is going to happen unto these niggas, man. You got that one nigga that thinks that he's a uh, King David eating pork, saying that he's going to have a whole spread again for uh, Saturnalia for Christmas time. <laughs> Don't be surprised if he's one of the first ones to get sent to the spirit world. <laughs> Psalms 148 and verse 11. The kings of the earth and all the people, princes and all the judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Check this. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushah. You see that? So no matter your position. Your job is to praise the name of the Lord and the name of the Lord, praising his name, publish, you know, having his name published is all throughout the scriptures, all throughout the scriptures. You know, so it just goes to show you these dudes, they pick and choose what they want to believe or they, they pretty much have the doctrine of men that they're going by. So when they read these scriptures, it doesn't hit them. Because they're thinking that they can just call on the name of Christ <laughs> and Jebus, man. Most high blessed. Bugged out, man. The Lord said to deceive and the deceiver are his. For his name alone. Uh-oh, you see that? For his name alone is ex excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He has also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim el So his name alone is excellent. Not that Jesus, not that, not that, <laughs> not that Christ, man. All right. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And we're going to keep pushing that. And then you Negroes that's in that congregation are going to have to learn the hard way. If you keep on standing that, y'all going to learn the hard way that the Lord ain't dealing with that name, man. Let's get a little more. We'll close out. Deuteronomy 32 and 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as a rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as a small rain upon the tender herb, as the showers upon the grass. Check this. Because I will publish his name of the Lord. Ascribe ye greatness unto our power. You see that? That's what we're doing. We're publishing the name of the Lord. We're praising the name of the Lord. We giving our con congregation, our followers, the name of the Lord. Why? Because that name is powerful. All right. As we get right here, he is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment, power of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. You see. And he has chosen us. Chosen us, man. Reveal his secrets unto us. So it's our honor to know the name of the one true power. They have corrupted themselves. It's like you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not a spot of children. They are perverse and crooked generation. You see that? It's talking to a lot of you Negroes. And that uh, IUIC and, and, and these other camps that are going off. Do ye thus requit the Lord, O foolish people, and unwise is not ye thy father, 
that have brought thee? Have he not made thee and established thee? You see that? Have not he made thee? Didn't he give you the true name of the Lord? His true name? Didn't he tell you that his name must be given to generation and generation? But they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that, man. So for the second time, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Proverbs 1 and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and scorners delight in they scorners and fools hate knowledge? You see that? You're a fool if you hate this knowledge. You're a fool if you disregard in the name of the Lord. And y'all said it in y'all Passover, man. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you, unto you, and I'll make known my words unto you. All right, so you turn that to reproof. You get this reproof. You know, Yahweh right desire, the Lord is dealing with you. He's supping with you. Okay? But if you're one of those Negroes, as we'll read, you're going to be destroyed. Because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have said it not in all my counsel. And with none of my reproof, you wouldn't take this reproof. You're getting reproof. What's going to happen? I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming, when your fear coming as desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish coming unto you. Then shall they call upon me. Check this. You know, a lot of times I may use this scripture for Christians, but this goes for a lot of these other camps as well. That's not pushing the name that don't know the name or they know the name. They just not pushing the name. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Why? For they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord Yahweh Bashem El Shah. They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. All right. So you despise the Lord's reproof if you keep on calling upon the name of uh, the name of these other gods. <laughs> That's pretty much what you're doing. The name of uh, Christ and all that, man. All right. Keep on pushing it. So when push comes to shove, when Jacob's trouble pop off, you're going <laughs> to best believe some of these dudes may end up calling upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, but it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late, man. You're going to be used as an example. Because you should have been calling upon his name while the doors of mercy were open. All right. So don't be surprised. We see a lot of these dudes get jacked up very, very soon, man. So with that, Lord willing, satisfying, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakagadash, and Wa'obababashem, Wa'obababashem.